J.I. Rodale, who started the Rodale Institute, said healthy soil equals healthy food equals healthy people back in 1947, and that still holds true today. We're a small organization, we're only 40 people, but we're 40 people that want to change the way food is produced around the world, and we're doing it. We believe here that our research is a catalyst for change, so we have to get that research out into the hands of farmers. We do a lot of education, transitioning farmers who want to move from conventional to organic, or getting new farmers interested. GI Rodeo was really telling us as farmers our goal is not to produce crops, it is to produce healthy people. I'm extremely proud of being a leader in the organic movement. There's this general misnomer that organic agriculture is old-fashioned, but we're using modern techniques, using old-fashioned methods, and having good success with it, whether it's in large-scale agriculture or in small-scale backyard gardens. We have three major focus areas, grow organic research and organic farming, adapt to and mitigate climate change. And then our last focus area is to solve food insecurity by looking at producing high nutrient dense food. One of our most well-known research projects here at Rodale Institute is our Farming Systems Trial. That started back in 1981, and it's actually the longest running side-by-side -side comparison of organic versus conventional in North America. As you can tell from my accent, I'm originally from Kenya. This research is very useful, not just for organic farmers, but conventional growers as well. What we found was that there is no statistical difference in yields between the organic and conventional system. In fact, when there's drought, organic system is producing 31% more yields than the conventional system. That's why I'm excited, because I know that what we are trying to promote here can actually feed the world. We wanted to show farmers that you don't need a lot of acreage to raise hogs. My dad is a farmer in southwestern Minnesota, and I'm constantly looking from the perspective of what is going to be able to help him as a farmer, what's going to be able to make a difference in his life. By utilizing the techniques that we're doing, we're defining the ways and leading the ways on how we're going to be able to create these systems that are going to make a difference, not just here in Pennsylvania, but nationwide as well as across the planet. As an organic farm, we do a lot of rotational grazing. It's really good for the land, it's good for them. Kind of our lawn mowers around the farm. Honeybees are a huge part of agriculture. Since Rodale is organic pioneers, we really want to play a role in the honeybee community in helping beekeepers make the right decisions. These could be planted closer together. We could get more intensive growth out of this. I teach the plant health management class. We talk about the importance of organic systems. They get the hands-on aspect of it where they're seeing how things grow. They're planting, they're weeding, they're cultivating, and they're harvesting. And then they also learn how to process that food. We say that our farm is a destination for inspiration, and I think we really capitalize on that with all the groups that come out. We're able to do a lot of tours. We have educators coming through here, school groups. We host field days here at the farm for farmers. We're trying to change the world. We need partners to make that happen. To me, this work is extremely important because we are changing and we can show people that you can feed the world without the use of pesticides and herbicides. The way we treat the soil, in reality, is the way we treat ourselves because we don't have to feed people for 20 years or 50 years. We may need to feed people for 10,000 years, and we need to improve the health of the soil in order to do that. And organic agriculture really is the future of agriculture. It's the future of farming. It's a very exciting time.